Hi, my name Buntag. In today's presentation, let's talk about the early revolts in the Philippines. In the first part of Spanish colonization, after La Palapu has killed Magellan, starting from 1574, the first notable revolt is the Suleiman and Lacandula revolt. In 1574, Filipinos rose against Spain. Historical records, more than a hundred revolts in the three centuries of Spanish rule in the Philippines. Unfortunately, all of these revolts are failed. And now, are you ready to proceed to our main topic? If yes, let's start it. Our main topic for today's presentation is all about the early revolts in Luzon. The first one is Suleiman and Lacandula revolt, or also called Tagalog revolt, started from 1574, and this revolt are failed. The revolt in Luzon started as a process of Legazpi's expansionism in Manila. The rejection of Raja Suleiman against the imposition of Spanish proved that Filipinos never wanted any foreigner in the Philippines. However, due to the invincibility of Spanish defense, the first of Suleiman were defeated. This revolt was caused by losing Suleiman and Lacandula's kingdom when they were defeated by Miguel Lopez de Legazpi to accept the Spanish sovereignty on the promise that they would be well treated by the Spaniards and would retain some of their royal and political powers. Suleiman descendant Lacandula later on received special privilege of not paying their tribute and exemption from Polo when Lacandula accepted the Spanish rule and cooperated with them. However, the change in governorship after the death of Legazpi proved to be impetus to change administration as well. Govern Governor Love Lavisaris is heirs refused to give the exemption to Lacandula took arms against the government. Legazpi died and was replaced by Governor Gadoli Lavisaris is who revealed the exemptions from paying tribute and confiscated their lands. The revolt was suppressed after the intervention of Salcedo in a promise of exemption to Lacandula. Father Martin convinced Lacandula and Suleiman to abort the revolt and promised to grant their privileges. From 1587 to 1588, Agustin Legazpi, son of Lacandula and first cousin Martin Pangan, together with Datus from Bulacan and Pampanga lead the well-known Conspiracy of the Maharlikas. The Conspiracy of the Maharlikas, also referred to as a revolt of the Lacans, or the Tundo Conspiracy of 1587-1588, was a plot against Spanish colonial rule by the Tagalog and Kapampangan noblemen, or Datus of Manila and some of the towns of Bulacan and Pampanga. In the Philippines, it was led by Agustin de Legazpi, grandson of Con conquistador Miguel Lopez de Legazpi, nephew of Raja Lacandula, and his first cousin, Martin Pangan. The Datus swore to rise up in arms of anointing their necks with split egg and uprising field when they were betrayed by the Spanish authorities by Antonio Surabao of Calamianes. He uprising failed because Antonio Susuban of Calamianes and Amaralagi of Laguna disclosed the plans of the Maharlikas to the Spanish authorities which lead to their capture and death. That's all about the Suleiman and Lacandula's revolt. Once again, this is Remart Avila, your reporter for today's topic. Thank you and goodbye.